All right, I'm here with T. Mitchell, who's a part of the Jaguars Bill Walsh Fellowship Internship. Uh, how cool is it to be able to be a part of this staff? I mean, it's amazing. Uh, growing up a couple minutes away from the stadium, uh, getting a chance to uh, come back here in the Bill Walsh Fellowship, you know, have a minority owner, uh, minority coordinator, uh, working with Deshae Townsend. Uh, you really can't beat that, giving guys like myself a chance to get out here and show what we can do, see if we can uh, get in the NFL pipeline. Uh, it's really a dream, and I can do it at home. You can't ask for better. When you were playing high school football at Bowles, did you ever think that you know one day you could be coaching on the Jaguar staff? Uh, funny you ask. Uh, Corky Ross is really, uh, man, him's like a father figure to me. Um, and he really was the reason why I got into coaching. So uh, as a kid, you dream about playing for him. Then, you know, once the playing days are over, being able to coach for him. Um, the work just begun. So the Bill Walsh Fellowship, hopefully it's something that we can do long term and see where it goes from there. Do you ever find yourself saying some of the things that you remember Coach Rogers saying to you when you were in high school? All the time. <laughs> All the time. But these guys are pros, man. So the way he uh, kind of got into us, he kind of approached it a different way. So I kind of put my own style on it now. But, yeah, absolutely. Well, that first day when you got out here for the start of training camp, were you, was it almost like, oh, I'm really here, this is happening? Oh, absolutely. Back in 2019, I was uh, in the scouting department, which is a great opportunity. Um, to be back out here coaching, do what I love to do uh, in the city I love, it's personal. Honestly, like, it's personal. I want to see the city win more than anything and uh, this team. So uh, it really is like a wild moment every time I step on the field. They got a couple of players on the roster that grew up right here in Jacksonville. You talked to any of those guys and be like, hey, look, you know, we, we got a little bit of a pipeline going now. Absolutely, man. <laughs> D-Will, you got Shaq. Uh, played against some of these guys, know these guys. Uh, it's a, Jacksonville's a big city, but tight-knit group, especially when it comes to uh, high school football. So to be back, it's been great. You played against some of them? If we go pull the highlights, who, who oh, yeah, got the better? Come on now, the bowl school, baby. The bowl <laughs> school. So absolutely, man. Um, but it, it's been a blessing to be back and have some of the Jacksonville guys be back. Um, been a local guy in this position, man. Like I said, you can't actually better. Ever a little high school trash talk, Oak Leaf Creekside Bowls? Absolutely, but we all know what the answer is to that. We all know what the answer is to that. But uh, no, I appreciate you all. Awesome. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, man. Have a yeah. good one. Good luck. Thanks,